Hi, this is Leonard Smith from Sense Memory, and I'm taking you on vacation with me. I'm in a very warm and tropical place, and I'm going to be doing some reviews from here, so stay tuned for the very first one. This is Lanier Smith from Sense Memory, and welcome to beautiful Hanalei, Kauai, Hawaii. I'm here on vacation, and I thought I would take you with me. So the first thing we're going to review is a staple of the Hawaiian drugstore, and that is a really beautiful, beautiful fragrance from Royal Hawaiian, and this is the Plumeria. Now Plumeria, as you may know, is also called frangipani. Frangipani is a is a um, sub species of the plumeria flower, and plumeria is the flower of Hawaii. That's the flower they use in the lays, and it is just an incredibly beautiful, beautiful smelling flower, and it's it permeates the air here in Hawaii. So uh, let's open it up now. The uh, it's really inexpensive. It only costs thirteen, fourteen dollars here in Hawaii, and I think it's even less on um, on Amazon. So there's the bottle. It really is for a cheapy drugstore fragrance. It really is comes in a really beautiful, beautiful packaging. Uh, here's the top. You can see there's a um, what is that? It's a plumeria flower on top, and um, their logo, and there's the fragrance. So. Let's open it up and try it. Now, of course, I've already tried it. When I first got it, I couldn't wait. So, um, I already know what it smells like. But here we go. It is a cologne. It's an EDT. And, oh, the water's coming on in the garden. Um, but it's a solid floor, and the, that particular flower, as it says on the bottle, is Plumeria. And it is so beautiful. I can't describe it. If you've ever been to Hawaii, then you'll know what I mean. But it's sweet, and there's, and as it as it um, progresses a little bit, there becomes a, kind of a mixture of pineapple and, and a touch of maybe coconut. Um, it's a great summer scent. It's very beachy. How does Plumeria do in the longevity department and the sillage department? Well, it's, I would say, Siage wise, it's moderate. It's not um, going to hit you over the head, uh, and hula girls are going to come dancing around, and, and tiki torches twirling, and all that kind of thing. No, not at all. It, I think it's rather subtle and inviting. And it lasts on my skin, I would say, about five hours. It is a, an EDT, so it's not going to be really um, hanging on much longer than about five hours. But it also does come in a roll on. Uh, perfume. You can get that. It's much smaller and very inexpensive, about six or seven dollars. Very, very small, about this big. And I think that uh, it's a, it's for it's for women. But I think that well, I'm wearing it. But here in Hawaii, traditionally, uh, men and women both wore flowers in their hair and in their legs. And why not? And when you're in the Hawaii, why not wear plumeria? It's such a fabulous. Um, local perfume. So there you have it. This is Lanner Smith from Hawaii saying Aloha Nui Loa and remember wear what you love and not what they say you should like.